Hey there. Um, so I'm going to do my Q&A today. Uh, I know I said I'd do that like weeks ago, but I kind of forgot and life kind of happened, so I got a little busy. Um, but first and foremost, I want to introduce myself for those who do not know. My name is Courtney. Um, I'm the owner of Courtney Renee's Photography. Um, I currently live in Glendale, California, which is um, in Los Angeles County, so huge area. Um, I am from a tiny, tiny town um, in, in Oregon called Dallas, Oregon, and it's really close to Salem for those of you who have no idea where that's at. Um, I moved to Albany my junior year of high school. I graduated in 2012. Um, I met my boyfriend and the love of my life uh, in 2018, um, so we've been together ever since. Um, I'm a photographer, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, I specialize in couples and families, as well as creative sessions and um, like pet photography and all that good stuff. So I do a little bit of everything, but my main focus is lifestyle, um, couples and families. Um, I have some super exciting things to announce in 2021, but I'm not going to announce it yet. So stay tuned for that. Um, like I said, I'm doing a Q and A today. So, and these are questions that I asked, um, people to ask on my social media. Um, I didn't get as many as I hoped, but I got a few. And then I'm adding a few random questions that I got off of a random question generator on Google, um, just to fill the video a little bit more. So here we go. <laughs> um, question number one, um, and these are in no order whatsoever. So the first one, um, when did you first know you wanted to be a photographer? Well, <laughs> um, honestly, I have wanted to be a photographer since I can, for, since ever I can remember. Um, I, picked up a camera when I was really young. My, my parents always had a camera around or whatever. So I loved it then. Was I any good at it? No. <laughs> um, but I loved it. I loved the art of it. And then in high school, I definitely, um, kind of grew more to it. Of course, I wanted to do other things in my life, um, such as being a veterinarian or working at a zoo or what have you but photography was always my constant and it is my, now is my career. So I would say to answer to that question would be forever. <laughs> um, second question, what are some of the, of your biggest inspirations for shoots? Oh man. Um, I would say other photographers, obviously the photographer community is very influential and insp inspiring. Um, far as like creative sessions, I would say my mind. I mean, I just have a vision in my head, how I want it to be. And I do it. Um, so inspiration is kind of from everything. I am inspired by a landscape. I'm inspired by a person. I'm inspired by a character. What have you? I'm inspired by a life <laughs> as cheesy as that may sound totally cheesy. I know, but it's true. Um, next question what would your dream shoot be theme and location? I would say my dream shoot would be an elopement, um, in Spain, um, somewhere in Spain. I don't have an, an exact location, but it would be an elopement in Spain. Anyone wants to do that? Let me know. <laughs> um, where do you see your business? You see you and your business in five years. Well, I see myself being a full-time photographer. Um, who knows where <laughs> I see myself being married. Um, maybe a kid, maybe not. Um, but I definitely see myself as a full-time photographer, a successful photographer, um, making income solely through photography. Um, and I'm hoping that is closer to the one, two year mark, but five years, um, I definitely see myself, um, traveling the world, um, with photography. I, I, I want to be able to travel and do my, my craft. So thank you for those questions. Um, next set of questions. 
Um, did you take any marketing or business courses to grow your business? Um, short answer, no. Long answer, yes. Um, no, I did not go to college for those um, courses. I didn't go to college at all. Um, but what I did is I invested in a couple courses um, through Brooke Jefferson. Actually, I just invested one through one course with Brooke Jefferson and then um, I did a couple, like obviously YouTube, I learned a lot from YouTube. Um, honestly, I did a lot of self-research, um, on Google or, you know, photography community. I am very self-taught and I'm very proud of myself for that. But yes, I did take, um, you know, courses here and there for free, or I did invest some money, um, but for those of you who say that you can't run a business without um, going to college, you are really wrong because you totally can. There are so many resources out there for really cheap, not even really cheap, just for less money than you're going to spend in a freaking four year degree um, or two year degree, whatever it may be. And you can run a very successful business. So um, no, you don't have to go to college for it. Um, no, I did not go to college for it. What I have liked to, yes. Um, will I maybe in the future? Sure. Um, maybe would I go for a full degree? Definitely not. I would take a few courses here and there at a, a college. Um, but right now there are so many good resources out there that are not going to break the bank. So, um, moving on. Um, what's your workflow process? Uh, <laughs> That's a very open-ended and very long um, answer, but what I would, um, how to answer, how I want to answer this question is basically, um, I have a couple things that clients can do. Um, they can, um, there's so many different processes, but um, I'm going to talk basically about client process. Um, so they can either contact me through social media or my booking, um, Wow. <laughs> my booking software on my um, website. And then we have a conversation. Um, I ask them what they, what they're looking for location. We, we pin down a location. I give them my investment guide. Um, then, you know, I prep them. I don't really do styling because I am not a stylish person. As you can tell, um, I do have, you know, some, sense of what they will look good in. So they'll send me pictures or what have you of what they're going to be wearing. Um, I have some advice for them when it comes to styling, but I don't have the greatest fashion sense. So <laughs> that's on my clients. Um, and then we do the session. Everything's fun. Um, I am not a stare at the camera, um, photos. I do a lot of those. Um, but that is not who I am. I like the fun, goofy, looking at each other and laughing, the tickling, the fun. I like fun. I, it's way more fun that way. And you get more authentic and unique photos. Um, sorry, I jumped to the side a little bit on that one. Um, and then, you know, I do my editing process and I send the photos off an online gallery. They pick their photos, they buy extras, what have you. Um, I have several different processes in my business. Um, maybe I'll do a video that is solely about my processes. We'll see. Um, but that is a great question. Thank you. Um, what is your favorite part of photography? Everything? Can I say everything? <laughs> no, I would say reaction. Um, I would say client reaction to the photos. Um, how they see how when they when they look at the photos i love to see you know how they feel about them and what you know just i love the reaction so i'd say reaction is definitely my favorite part of photography um and that's not even necessarily about the photography itself it's more of the people so i'd say the people i love working with people and i would never say that back when i was like 16 or 17 i, I you know people were not my thing but as i got older i loved it so um, my other favorite part of photography is the creative part of it. I can do anything I want with a camera, um, in post editing. So it is a blast and a hat. Let me tell you. 
Um, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> so, um, what is your favorite kind of shoot to do? Uh, creative. Uh, and what I mean by creative, I mean like my Harley Quinn and Joker sessions, my black light sessions, um, any, um, dressing up my vampire sessions. Um, I love to work with local models and makeup artists and other creatives in the industry and just create, bring an idea to life and bring a photo to life because I'm an artist. We're artists in this industry. And I believe 100% that, um, if you dream it, you can do it. So I would say creative sessions, not that I don't love doing all the other sessions that I do creative. It's just, I can speak my mind through my photos and I absolutely love that. Um, so next set of questions, um, what do you wish you had more talent doing? Um, videography, definitely. Um, I would love to be able to make those beautiful videos like, um, you know, wedding videos or what have you that people do. And it is one of my goals. Um, but I don't have any talent behind it. Um, I'm using my tripod right now, um, which I'm sure I could do with other things, but it is wanting it is something I want to do to add to my services and my business. So it is something that I would love to learn more about. Um, last two questions. Um, do you enjoy people watching? Definitely. <laughs> um, I live in an area where, um, there are millions of people everywhere and watching the way people react to other people. It's like a social experiment. You know what I mean? I love to, I like sociology. So I love, um, just watching how people react to other things and how they interact with each other and just people in general, people are hilarious. If you just watch them, I know it sounds creepy, but I absolutely love it. Um, who would you love to meet? Stephen King. He is my favorite author. He sounds like a very interesting man. Um, yeah, he would be my number one person I'd love to meet. I don't know if they meant that by like famous person or what they meant, but I'm going with it. And I'd say Stephen King. So that's it. Those are my, a few of the questions that I've been asked. Um, and if you want to know anything else, drop them in the comments. I love, I might do a part two. I, um, I love, um, I wouldn't say I love talking about myself cause I don't, but I love hearing what you guys want to hear from me. So, um, drop, uh, in the comments, any more questions or what you think I should do next with a, with my vlog. Um, I'll be looking forward to hearing that. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share my video. I appreciate it. And you guys have a great rest of your day.